An interesting mystery reported in the Lincolnshire Live stating the mystery of the deserted village that can still be seen from the skies. Wait till you hear this. There are around 2,000 deserted medieval villages in England, but Gainsthorpe in Lincolnshire is perhaps one of the most well preserved that is still visible. The village still has surviving elements such as houses, barns and streets that remain as a group of earthworks in a largely unploughed field. And despite the land being the source of much local interest, historians and archaeologists have been unable to say for certain why this place was deserted. Many of the village's features are visible in aerial images and the village itself dates back to at least 1,000 years ago as it is listed in the Doomsday Book of 1086 as Gamel Stop. The small village or hamlet was assessed for tax as having just one carricate of farming land. And that's the contemporary unit for an amount of land that a plough team of eight oxen could tend for a year. In 1208, Gamelstop was listed in a royal fines document, and this suggests that the village at this time was rather large. There were at least 19 fields surrounding the village, occupying 108 acres and 44 hectares, not including the communally farmed open fields. And the village also had a chapel, a windmill, and a bridge. However, the evidence available does not reveal the village decline or precisely when it was deserted. The land of Gainsfort was granted to a small priory a few miles northeast of the village in 1343, and the population may well have declined as a result of the Black Death of 1348. But the village land was part of the estate of the Duchy of Cornwall by the 14th and 15th centuries suggesting that some village farms survived, even if the village itself had shrunk. A statement on the English Heritage website looks at how the village was deserted, and it reads, The village was certainly deserted by 1616 when a survey for the Duchy of Cornwall noted, Nether Toft, Tenement or Cottage Standing. And at the end of the 17th century, the Yorkshire Antiquarum, Abraham de la Prim, visited the site. In two separate and slightly contradictory descriptions, he noted the ruined foundations of about 200 buildings in three abandoned streets in 1697, or about 100 buildings in five or six streets in 1699. Asking local people for further information, De La Prim learned that a land parcel called Church Garth, thought to be the site of the vanished village chapel, and this lay about 200 yards southwest of the ruins on the left side of the road leading to Gainsfop from Curtin. The position of the church is uncertain. The 1616 surveyor thought that its ruins lay to the north of the remains of the village near a surviving farmhouse. De La Prim recorded a local tradition that Tudor robbers who used the village as a base were driven out by the inhabitants of other local villages, thus causing the total abandonment of Gainsfop. He added, however, that in his view, the village had probably been abandoned to sheep pasture, and this was part of a regional shift from crop growing to more profitable pastoral agriculture. Many elements of the deserted village survive as earthworks in the grass fields that remains. There are three or four roads visible as hollow ways with earth banks on either side of a sunken track, and about 25 buildings laid out about 15 crofts, beside the two east-west lanes, and each croft is thought to have been occupied by a family and used as a garden, and we just wanted to share this little snippet of lost history with you guys today. Comments below, and thank you for watching.